See now this is awesome for coasting. That's one finger push. This is just this this coil right here. That coil and that coil. And the other ones are not hooked up. Somehow when I hook up all six, it's like there's a there's a load on on the coast and it doesn't work as well. I'm thinking it's the timing on the coils. See, because that is a great coast. Alright, I am going to turn it on. We'll see if I did it right. See now, I don't really appreciate this speed. This isn't good. It's better with all six, but there's a load on it. There's definitely more amperage being pumped through uh, the three coil system. Let's see, 3.6 amps at 10.4 volts. So that's like 30 watts. A little bit more than 30 watts. Here it goes. Alright, I'm going to cut it back. Now that should coast for a good two minutes or so. I'm guessing with the weight and the fact that it's not on a levitation disc and that it's just, you know, it's being lifted up by some bearings. But this makes full, full use of the stator, the permanent magnet stator on the outside, which is going clockwise. Because there's no cores anymore. The cores were actually hindering the effectiveness of the stator dr dramatically. Like one or the other. Pick pick your poison. That is moving fresh, dude. And uh, the read switch, as you can see down there a little bit maybe, is still blinking. And that means that the energy that is being used, generated and used by the coils is being pulsed. So it's not... There we go. See what I say, two minutes. Um, it is not being all consumed at once by the coils by not having it be pulsed because when those magnets pass through you're going to have a reaction okay and you're going to generate some energy And then that energy will be consumed either by pulse, which is here, which will make it last a lot longer because it is pushing itself right now. But, you know, by the laws of physics, that initial push will wear down and be consumed by either friction 
I mean, if 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 the momentum is forward, right? What's going to resistance, friction? You know, this is going to stop it from moving forward. But I mean, this is just a regular old bearing, regular old quarter inch ID bearing. And it's on like five of the same type of bearing. There's no specialness going on here. I don't know what I want. Do I want it to coast better or do I want it to spin better? Because it'll spin a lot better with all six plugged in. Here, I'm going to scope that out real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, and I just had to switch two plugs, two uh, alligator clips, and we are good to go with that. Now watch this. Just watch how fast this gets going. See, it's going that way. Look at how it's spinning. It's spinning the wrong... It's going the wrong way, man! It's going the wrong way. All right. Way on the table shaking and cut it back. But see, watch this coast from it going that fast to this in like a moment's notice. And it's got the permanent magnet stator pushing it along. Something's definitely loading this thing down. I'll have to find out what it is, where it is, and why it's doing it. Because that kind of blows. Because I love the speed, but I don't like the load. There doesn't need to be a load right now. Especially one that I don't know. See, that was a little hard to push. I'm not sure if these are all cal. They gotta be. They gotta be calibrated right. And that is wicked speed right there. Uber fast, man. That is like end game quick. But you gotta you gotta factor in what I'm using here. I mean, I'm a 10 inch rotor. And the only reason I'm still using it is because the, the bearings went in as straight as the, out of all my creations so far. So I'm still using it. I re, readjust the magnets on there every once in a while. Right now we're using 9. But I do 12, 6, 3. I've done 1. 1 is pretty fun. Because one of these coils will push it, it'll go all the way around, it'll come back, it'll be, get pushed. It's pretty funny, it'll just keep on going. I mean, th there you go, there's your perpetual motion. Of course, there's power running through it. But <laughs> That's what it looks like, it goes really slow. But there's only one magnet on there, so, and one active coil. So what I'm thinking is that maybe this coil right here is, I need to flip them. I need to flip the alligator clips. So I'm going to try that. I'll be right back. All right, I flipped them. Now I guess we're going to let it run for a little bit. And we're going to see. If we get the same, yeah, 
Might even be quicker. Don't know for sure. Yeah, wow. Now let's see if the load is any different. Why is the why is it like that? I don't know. It's slowing down way too fast for my taste. You saw that wicked speed. And that is an easier push, so I'm thinking that's that's right the way it is right now. That's awesome. So we're gonna call it, I guess, by Delta. With a permanent magnet stator. Heck yeah. Something's not right though. There's, there's some, well, I don't know what's causing it, but the electro, it's either electromagnetism or the permanent magnets, which are, but I'm pretty sure it's the electromagnetism. All right. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out. Have a great night.